Hey, what's going on? This is Dre, Tattoo Squid Podcast. I'm here with Kyle and Nick from Dripping Stone Podcast. How you guys doing? Oh, doing well. Yeah, yeah. doing really good. Yeah, we're doing it here. <laughs> we're doing, we were just uh, chatting up a little bit, getting uh, some uh, stuff out of the way and just seeing what's up. Um, I wanted to get your guys' opinion about the uh, Fast and Furious uh, franchise. Um, should it be going still or should it stop after Paul Walker? Uh, oh, man, <laughs> that's, that's kind of heavy. Um, you got something to call you want me to go? <laughs> well, I, I'll, I'll start it. Like okay. for me personally, I think I, I kind of feel like as long as they're making money, you're, you're, they're not going to stop. Like yeah. it's not going to be an issue of whether they should or not. As long as they're continuing to, you know, make money, they're going to continue to make them. Yeah. Personally, do I think they should have stopped? Not necessarily because I feel like they, you know, it's almost kind of like in his honor to keep it going. Like, I don't think yeah. he would have necessarily said, Hey, if, if I need to step out, y'all need to stop making these. I don't think he ever really looked at it as like, this is my franchise. And I can't think of really honestly, like too many franchises that fall into that category of like, if you lose this character, you need to stop it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, well, and then, you know, going on to Nick, you know, what, what is your opinion? So, I mean, you know, I've watched, I definitely watched the first couple, uh, maybe the first two or three. And I, I can't say like after that, you know, I'm, I'm not a, a fan of the movies. These movies really aren't for me, but I think like very similar to what Kyle said, there's clearly a, a market for these movies. I mean, they're fun. They're popcorn. You know, it's, it's kind of similar to the Marvel movies. You know, they're, they're fun, they're popcorn, they're entertaining. Um, and, you know, I guess cinematically they're fun. Are they going to be Oscar winning movies? Probably not. Um, but they're fun movies. And I, I agree, as long as they're making money and they make a crap load of money, uh, as long as they make money, you know, they're gonna they're gonna keep making them. And you know, I think the of what I've seen in terms of kind of where they've gone, they're starting to bring in, you know the newer action hero, the newer action star. And that's, that's cool. And I think that, you know, that's the uh, medium to do that in is a movie that, you know, no one's expecting Oscar winning movies, but they're fun and they're popcorn and people want to see, you know, people want to see people driving fast cars and blowing shit up. I mean, that's what people want to see. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, cause I mean, to my opinion, I, I like the, the whole thing when it starts off like the first one and it goes up to uh I forgot what, what number it was when uh, Paul Walker passed away. I think that was like six, maybe seven. I'm not sure. But also now, I mean, I'm hearing that they're doing like yeah. nine. Five or six, eight. seven, yeah. Somewhere in there. Yeah, so, yeah right. And it was like seven. And then um, then they're saying they're talking about doing like nine, ten or something. And I'm like, uh, okay. You know, I'm like, it's almost like Expendables. You know what I mean? So it's like expendable. Yeah, it's like totally. expendables. You know. It's it's like the, the Freddy and and Jason kind of universe and, and Halloween. Like, you know, it's do you need a Halloween 37? No, but people are gonna go see it. So why not? You know, yeah. there's there's that argument for it too. No, I know. I mean we could I was just trying to see more about because I'm like I, I know it hasn't been out in a couple of like years you know because of the whole you know COVID and and this and that so um but hey you know it is what it is to see what happens <laughs> yeah yeah but, uh, you know even no, I, where I might have to have a drink to it just to see it <laughs> <laughs> I mean they 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 make a lot of money um and again they're fun they're absolutely fun I mean I don't in like one of the last ones like the rock is like taking down a helicopter with his arm like come yeah. on you know like that's that's fun yeah. no one no one expects it to be real but that's fun 
Yeah, it's the rock though, we call it, but I don't think he's gonna be doing another one. I don't think. Um, I think he's probably gonna be doing like you know, like that Hobson Shaw uh you know, spin off kind of thing. So, right. But um so what you guys got going on, uh I mean I don't wanna jump jump around like that, but we call it I mean that was like my my question for that, you know, which you know, it's good uh legitimate, you know kind of like figure out where they're going to be at with that one but getting into uh, what you guys are be doing because i definitely am going to go and get one of those rock glasses <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, mine's sitting back there i don't have the rock glasses now but mine's sitting back there because <laughs> yeah. i want to go and like you know because i drink iced tea and all that and it would look look like you know a, a good kind of bourbon or kind of like whiskey kind of thing going there, like really dark yeah but um, absolutely. But my question is now I've been listening to you guys. Uh, we call it, you know, quite a bit. We call it, you know, whenever I get a chance and whenever an episode comes up. Now, how did you get into uh, doing all the, you know, the liquor you know, tasting with the proof and, uh, you know, and everything else that goes with it? You know, like a connoisseur would do with wine. You guys are doing with whiskey, which has been probably done numerous times. But how did you guys get into it? Yeah, sure. I think for us, you know, it ultimately, it started with a, I think it was a party, if I'm not mistaken. And like a friend of Kyle's brought, you know, some sort of uh, a liquor and, and or some sort of whiskey. And I had a bottle of, uh, I think it was Basil Hayden at that point. We were kind of like, oh, this is this stuff's pretty good. Like, you know, let's, let's see what else is out there. Um, and then just over what the course of the last three or so years, Kyle just started to really, really get into it. Yeah. I mean, Nick and I worked together for several years before mm. and we had just been having, you know, kind of in-depth conversations about a wide variety of topics we, we got into the fact that we both enjoyed whiskey and, and trying different drinks and that sort of thing. And it just kind of developed naturally of like, you know what, we should like, we should do a podcast. And it was totally Nick's idea to, you know, finally actually record it down and, and try to make the thing. Um, and, you know, that, that's just kind of like where we started and it's just kind of grew out of those conversations. Yeah. And, and it's been really fun for us, you know, just in terms of, uh, trying all these different different whiskeys and, and this is a world that you know we you kind of like know on the periphery exists but when you dive into it and start to see all the different you know all the different versions and, and start to like be able to pick things out yeah. that's when I you know I, I think for the both of us that's when it's it's really become fun to see like you know there's a lot of things going on here that you just you wouldn't know otherwise yeah, because I'm mean, and 100% like, legit. It gave us the excuse to get together and drink. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, that's legit. Cool. Like that's 90% of it, bro. I mean, that's that's the only way we could justify to our wives of like, you we need to get together every two weeks. Like that's just what has to happen. You yeah, know? you're buying another bottle of whiskey. Isn't that too much? No, nah, honey, it's for the podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it'll, it'll be done in a day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'll yeah. write it off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, by the way, I'm gonna need to get picked up. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. I need a ride yeah, swing by here. Great. <laughs> yeah. We've yeah, we've been close some days. <laughs> close. Yeah. That, well, that four beer episode. Going up. Holy moly. <laughs> Especially having the we call it the, the dill pickle one, and you're like, I don't know if I want to smell that in my car. No, no, no. <laughs> it was <laughs> it wasn't good. <laughs> but no, it was like uh, not at all. Yeah, but uh, what other? Um, I mean, I I seen bottles and cans of different like beer. Um, I never really tasted it. Like I was like, you know, I was telling Nick before we call that. I used to drink, but then with health reasons. Um, so, sure. I mean, honestly, I would I would try like you know any kind of whiskey as it is now because you know my girlfriend drink she drinks like Jack, Jack Daniels and all that. So, um, I'll be like, oh, man, I wish I could try some. <laughs> but as it is, right. I've mean, seen cans that are very 
as a, uh, I know you guys were talking about painting the last time, the last couple of episodes back, the the painting and all yeah. that. So that would be a cool thing with the the, the the cans with the nice artwork and all that. You know, just drinking whatever it is, just grabbing and saying, oh, okay, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to drink it anyway. <laughs> and it's a cool artwork on the front, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's really been in the last couple of years where, you know, the can art has become a draw. Because, I mean, you know, there's – when you really break it down, there's really just a couple of styles of beer and people adding different things. So it, it kind of becomes like the race to like what sets us apart. And uh, you know, people are coming up with really funny, cool names. Uh, we, the, the episode we released just, you know, last week, or I don't know when this is coming out for you, but a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, the enchanted Tiki room, like, yeah. you know, they're, they're trying to, you know, come up with funny names and, uh, obviously artwork for cans you know while it's easy to say don't judge a book by its cover that's what everybody does you know yeah. you're gonna look at a can and if a can is on the shelf and it looks cool you're gonna reach for that can versus like oh it's just you know aluminum so it's yeah. i would say within the last maybe like five years the the can art has become you know far more prevalent and, yeah. and cool at a bare too. minimum it at least makes you grab the can and look at it yeah exactly the liquid inside might not be any good but at least you're going to consider it <laughs> i mean I, case in point some of the things we've done lately the can looks beautiful the liquid Man, no inside. joke that that one i got the can right here the spring forward that's one of the ones that we just did that was the one from the eight one bay let's see it yeah. that's the uh oh yeah, yeah. the gator right right I looked up the illustrator on Instagram. Like it's it's fantastic stuff. Like dude is amazing. Yeah. Stuff I inside mean, the can. Like, the artwork. I mean, you just look at it, like you said, you're staring, you're like, oh wow. And then yeah. you know, I mean that's, that's gonna make you grab it, you know, yeah. in the store. Whereas the stuff inside the can was okay. Yeah, right. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, that was the cucumber line. <laughs> <laughs> and I was reading it, and it's like, ah, oh, crap, that's too uh, Never mind. And, <laughs> it's like, and I, 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 like, I like that brewery, but man, that, uh, whew, whew. Yeah. Oh, speaking of brewery, actually, we, when I lived in Pennsylvania, there's a place called uh, Lion's Head Brewery over in Wilkesburg, Pennsylvania. Okay. And uh, I love that beer. That beer, I used to, they had, 24, they had a 24 case, and it was like 15 bucks for a 24 case. Right, wow. and I'm like, and I'm I'm from like New York, so I was like, oh, give me two of those, <laughs> yeah, right. you know, give me two of those, and I'll, I'll finish up one, one, maybe, hopefully, you know, right, be, be a really good weekend. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, was like, but then somebody, you know, we, we had one, and I put it out on 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 the, the outside for the for the trash, and my friend comes over, he goes, he goes, okay, dude, we gotta talk, you know, I'm like. <laughs> He's like, there's a whole 24 case. You finished that one fucking night? I'm like, no, nah, that was in a two week span. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like, but was breakfast. I, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, just poured on the Cheerios. <laughs> and then, <laughs> but I was like, I went by the place, the brewery, and I'm like, two things came to mind. I'm like, all right, I want to work here, you know, like Family Guy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and, Two, this is so creepy looking. Like I forgot what the name of the I just followed the movie, uh, Silent Hill. Oh, yeah, sure. all, all I'm thinking of, like you know, is like creepy shit just coming out, and I'm like, this is a good and bad situation. But hey, you know, at least I'll get to drink some beer. Right. <laughs> yeah. Some free. What a way to go. But yeah, you know, when I was married, my wife was like, uh, was like, well, you know, that's gonna affect your your body and all that. And I'm like, yeah, they're going to have to have medical. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll be covered. You know, that's the way I looked at it, but hey, it wasn't going to be in the, in the cards at that time. So, right. But that, that, that would be like the dream job of whatever, you know, I wonder if I can get like a tattoo squid kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I have to figure that one out. But like I said, your rock glasses, I'm going to get one and, 
and put some iced tea in it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, yeah. No, we we uh, that's <laughs> that's that's high praise. Like we we definitely love the support. That's a lot. That's really cool. It means a lot to us too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, I love that because I'm still trying to figure stuff out. I mean, I don't know how long you guys have been doing a uh, uh, podcast wise. And we just recorded episodes. I think 81 just came out this past Wednesday, so we're at 82 for next Wednesday, and we're just you know chugging right along. We, you know, um, so we're you know in the 80s, so that's what yeah. a year over a year, a year and a half almost oh, at this point. Okay, I thought you guys have been doing this shit for like you know like five years or some shit. Well, it's it's because we're consummate professionals that you would think that we've been doing this for that long. <laughs> I try to do uh, the same thing, but yeah, it's like, all right, I'm still trying to figure out shit. You know, I'm like, I see people on Twitter, uh, you know, I listen to podcasts here and there and, you know, they got some cool uh, sound stuff, you know, like it, right. it blows my shit, like, like out of water, you know, but I mean, I don't want to say bad things about my podcast because we call it, I mean, I'm still learning. It's like a... Oh, I, I don't even know how to compare it to something, but it's like just basically like driving riding a bicycle still, and you know, and you know, you, you learn as you go, I guess. Yeah, and I mean, yeah, for sure. Are the first? I mean, Kyle, you remember the first episode we recorded on that like tiny ass little like little recorder thing on the back porch, and like yeah. it, it sounded terrible, and I was like, okay we can't we can't do that so it's just you know getting some decent equipment um and for us it's just kind of like slowly building um you know we each bring different strengths to the table like i'm terrible at picking um you know topics to talk about yeah um and and kyle's really good at that and like can find a topic and like i can talk about anything almost but just you know, Kyle says, hey, this is kind of the topic to go on. And then, um, you know, I, I usually edit everything. Not usually. I edit everything. Right. And just kind of, <laughs> <laughs> there's no usually. Uh, you know, just kind of, and it comes from having a bit of a music background, having a bit of a sound background. And I, I don't think it's perfect, but it, uh, you know, just trying to get it to where it sounds good. Yeah, you know? yeah, definitely, yeah. And, and it just, that just takes time. And I think, luckily for us we kind of had that threshold as creative people to begin with to like you know we want to put out the best thing that we can and and i love like the podcast community you know you just mentioned on twitter has been so super supportive uh, of okay. just of us of new podcasts and like you know tips and tricks and like hey have you done this have you thought about this and um you know just kind of like you said we're we're building the plane as we're flying too and you know, luckily for us, we just had a little bit of a, a leg up just kind of with our uh, creative aspects and, and outlets and just, you know, kind of hit the ground running. And we, I mean, we planned everything. I say we planned everything. We talked about everything. You know, we, we had ideas for probably what, about a year before we actually sat down and recorded. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I would say we feel like we're ballparking it, you know, mm -hmm. for that amount of time. And then it, it I, I guess, you know, kind of fine tuning it for yeah. maybe like i don't know a couple of months ahead of time yeah because i was like when i did mine it was like more uh pre-covid or actually i don't know maybe it was like in the beginning of it and i'm like all right i got maybe this is something because my my dream in the beginning was being uh like a dj right you know but like one of the djs like like a radio dj because i like to be here i mean heard not seen yeah, you know, hence well, doing this now, but yeah. You know. Well, that's <laughs> that's what our wives keep telling us is that we have faces for radio. I don't know what that means. I mean, <laughs> I I think Kyle looks pretty good. I think I look pretty good, but dude, I like the, I love the beard. I want I I had the beard until I had to shave it off because this fucking mask. Thing, you know? so I'm like I'm dreading. I'm like I, I mean. Can't it's uh it's it's pretty long yeah you know, it's <laughs> that, that's where i had i had it like maybe half that and i'm like i put like that uh what is it the uh the, the shape, oil the, the oil and everything and 
well like when when kyle when kyle made the uh the logo yeah. i was like that's perfect i mean yeah. it just that's perfect that's 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 literally who we are i mean and that's who we are but uh it, it, it was like when i started doing it and i'm like like i said I, i'd like to be heard not seen but then my first thing was doing was doing video right and i don't even know why I'm like, I just did it. And then at the first, like you said, when you did the first one, two, three, whatever, it, it's like a learning curve. And I was like, I'm looking and that now I look at it back, you know, backlash and it, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm like the crib keeper. Yeah. You know? I'm <laughs> like, holy shit, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But then my girlfriend pushed me up, pushed me along and was like, hey, you know, just keep on doing it. I'm like, all right, cool. So then I found out about Anchor and that helped me out tremendously. You know, like I didn't really have to do any editing said, you know, they did all the stuff, boom, 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 you know, get it done. Uh, and then that was it. And that's how it is. And I mean, I love to talk, um, you know, and anything that came to mind, I, just, I don't know if you heard, you know, anything on, on the podcast, mm -hmm. I do, but yeah. uh, it's more like, uh <laughs> trying to be nice in saying this but like a clusterfuck of stuff you know? <laughs> um you know because it's like a little bit of this a little bit of that little, it's nothing like set uh subject you know? yeah yeah right you know basically like you go to a bar you go into a bar you hang out you're not going to talk about like one specific thing you know, yeah, if somebody else comes into the conversation you're going to talk about like five to ten different or fucking things and argue right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and th that was kind of, you know, when we started and we were kind of, uh, you know, bouncing ideas off of each other, that's, that's kind of very similar to what we thought of like, you know, that we needed, we wanted something to kind of ground every episode. Mm. And that was the drink, you know, orient everything around the initial drink, because that's what, you know, kind of got us into it. And then, you know, so many podcasts kind of specialize in things. I mean, you know, just, just in the, the time that we've kind of been interacting on Twitter, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure that you've seen, you know, there's wrestling podcasts that are specific yeah. to like, I mean, there's wrestling podcasts of like Eastern Pennsylvania wrestling podcast. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's hyper specific. Pretty neat. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves into like, okay, this is the only thing, but wanted to kind of like, like Dre, like you just said, give a little bit of a, you know, this is just us having a conversation, you yeah. know, you know, here's, you know, we do a topic just cause it orients the episode a little bit. It lets, you know, it brings in different people. It, it kind of diversifies what we're doing, but it orients everything and, and allows us to really just, I mean, talk about things that we're interested in. And that's been like the most rewarding part, not only, you know, as friends hanging out and talking about these things, but you know, we can talk about whatever. Oh, you know, definitely, yeah, because we caught up, and I just thought about this, I'm like, all the stuff that I, you know, talk about, and I put it in there, and even though it's, like, out there, and it's, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, it is like a squid, you know, where all the tentacles are just bringing all the shit in. Yeah. You know, and, and holy shit, I'm like fucking Gandhi or something, I'm like, god damn, you know, I'm like, bringing it in, it's like, that was deep. <laughs> but I don't know. That's like I never figured myself as a deep person as it is. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, but uh, not deep. Um, but it was a uh, yeah, like you know, like I uh, also I called you. You heard of uh, uh, Hops uh, Geek News, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, so, <laughs> uh, hello, Geek News. This is uh, you know, yo, these guys. We call it uh, the guy wants to get. Um, I forgot what the guy's name is. But uh, he's trying to get Dunkin' Donuts to uh, partner with him or sponsor him as it is. And I don't know if you got a hold of what my shirt looks like. And I, you know, it's like, oh, uh, yeah. Dunkin' Donuts with a little horror uh, icon drinking coffee. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so I actually took a picture and I posted it on Twitter and quickly I got a reply. You know, he goes, that's fucking sick, bro. <laughs> And I'm like, That's cool. and then a lot of people are like, oh, where'd you get this? And I'm like, you know, told them on there. And, but that was it. You know, I was like, all right, cool. You know, but yeah, you know, it's like a lot of people helped out and, and sticker wise, everybody's starting doing stickers. 
You know, I mean, yeah. you guys got rock glasses, you got uh, stickers, I guess. You know, but we we got a couple we got a couple other things kind of in the works. Yeah. Um, you know, just but like you said, it's the community. I mean, we've not only have we learned from the community as a whole, but I mean, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, like, mm -hmm. you know, just that's how small independent podcasts grow. I mean, we don't have a million dollar budget, like a, like a Joe Rogan or, or these people who are supported by NPR and, and that kind of thing. Yeah. And we're not going to, I mean, you know, it's just, it's not going to happen. Um, but that's not necessarily the goal. Exactly. Exactly. We're just having fun. That's the main. Right. Yeah. And sure. that's, that's exactly it. And through that interaction with everybody else, you know, it, it helps the community grow, helps each individual podcast grow. And, and that's, that's been the fun of it too. And to see, you know, uh, smaller podcasts, bigger podcasts, and just the interaction between everybody. That's, that's the cool thing. Oh yeah. It's you know, like, like everybody says, it's like the family pod family pod nation, uh, the hashtags, um, you know, it's just like a lot of good, a lot of friends, a lot of family, you know, you know, just getting it. And, and I get to meet you guys. We call it like, you know, now, but I mean, like throughout the listen to all the stuff going on, I'm like, it's some, it's crazy stuff. And I'm like, wow. Okay. You know, now I can figure out what I'm going to do next, you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, so, and that's a good point. I mean, you know, if it wasn't for the podcast and for, in, in terms of you, Twitter, like, yeah, we would have never crossed paths. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I don't, I don't get to Long Island ever, <laughs> you know, so. Well, you never know. Once this COVID comes up, you know, we'll go in and hang out and show you all the, the sights. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Long Island, you know. So, you guys, and then they got the bars. They got bars that you would you'd be like, hmm, we don't have this here. Yeah. You should have right. led with the bars and then said, oh, yeah, there's some other things to see, too. Well, that's <laughs> also in the bars. So. <laughs> okay. All yeah. the sites are in the bars. Yeah, I all the sites are in the bar. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's either playing darts, pool, or you see all the attributes so all over the wall. You know? Right. So kind of like, uh, what was that? Uh, uh, there's a restaurant, like a country restaurant. I forgot what it was. That has all this memorabilia stuff inside. And it's, you know, kind of like almost like a bar, you know, but right. it, it, it's crazy scenery kind of stuff. But. Well, my, uh, you know, you just mentioned bars in Long Island. So my sister lived for quite some time in Montana. Yeah. And, you know, what people in like New York City, obviously I know, you know, you're not in New York City, but New York City, like, well, that's a dive bar. And it's, it's kind of become like hip and cool to go to. A dive bar you know okay. what what you and i was talking to my sister and she's like we just call those bars like <laughs> they've got two beers on tap one's probably going to be an aaron heiser bush product and like maybe if you're lucky a local beer and nothing is above 10 bucks mm -hmm. and it's smoky and you, you know you get you you bring a buck 50 for the uh pool table that's a yeah. bar you know so it's it's interesting to see like the variations too. When you go, you travel and you see different, you know, what what bars are for different places. You know, it's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, but it's like you you get like, you know, it's like almost like watching Roadhouse. You know, you go watch Roadhouse and you see how the bar is, but that's more out in the outskirts. Right. You know, kind of like uh dust till dust till dawn kind of thing, you know. Right. Like you got your, you know, kind of like bar scenery kind of <laughs> stuff, but uh, it, it's, you know, I love, I like, hey, I like the dive bars. You know, those are like nice, mingly. You know, you might find a girl that's in the dark. <laughs> you know, and it's like, hmm, I wonder what this person looks like in the light, and then. You might <laughs> <have that>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to say it like that, but you know, sometimes you know, you drink a little bit too much, and you're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> but <laughs> but it's a uh, it's an experience, and nonetheless. So, but uh, what goes on for Dripping Stone? You know, now I mean, obviously, I have more fun. Um, so, what are you guys gonna be up to uh, from here on out? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> so, I mean, I know we're, we're always looking to kind of expand our, you know, what we're talking about, what we're drinking. So it's, it's more or less just a, a continuous, I don't know, kind of search for, you know, what we, what we are interested in, what we want to experience, what we want to discuss. Like, I mean, Nick was talking about how I'm great at coming up with topics. Like I come up with the topics because I think of things that I want to talk about with Nick, because I know we'll have, you know, kind of a a more in-depth conversation about it. And, you know, I learn from him, he learns from me, we discover things together. And that's like what makes the whole thing worth doing. Hmm. Yeah. And, you know, just continuing to, to push, you know, you know, kind of like push, push our interests and, and find more things that we are actually, you know, interested in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's this, what I, started doing. I need to get somebody to go in with me as it is. So. <laughs> and I mean, that's, I, <laughs> I'm glad you're recording this because that, that, that was perfect. It was such a good answer because it's, yeah. it's, it's, that's what we do. I mean, we kind of also push each other of like, well, did you, did you read this? No. Did you listen to this? Yeah. Did you listen? Did, did you listen to this? No. Well, okay. Well, you need to go watch this or we need to talk about this. So go, you know, read this thing. And, you know, it's just, it's that kind of back and forth too of, you know, discovery and the, the journey. I mean, we talk about that constantly on the podcast is, you know, we generally think about the beer or the whiskey journey, um, but it's also just like the journey and discovery of, you know, things and who we are and how we engage in the world. I mean, we, I mean, case in point, we did an episode on the coronavirus really early on in like March and please don't go back and listen to that. Man, we nailed it. We nailed it. <laughs> no, <laughs> it does not age well at all. After two weeks of releasing it, it was all outdated and terrible, yeah. but you know, that's, that's kind of just who we are and, and we're not going to take it down because you know, that's a learning experience too. You know, like sure. we were talking about media sensationalism and, and some of that stuff still holds true and a lot of it's wrong, but it's part of the journey. It's part of figuring it all out. And we, you know, we have more questions than we have answers. And yeah. I think that that's, that's kind of just what, what makes it all work. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Man, this is fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like, uh, yeah, like it's an experience, you know, with you guys, it's an experience. You know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a drinker, but hey, you get the whole thing going on in the back, you know. So yeah, um, for sure. I'm hoping to do a no one, you know, this we call it down the road if possible, you know, with you guys. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and, and Dre, you just brought up a good point too, you know, um, w- w- how we kind of construct episodes is, you know, you don't have to be a drinker to like what we're doing. I mean, yeah, we talk about a drink, but we've got plenty of people that listen, plenty yeah. of people that engage and plenty of people that talk to us that, you know, they, they just don't drink. And that's completely cool. Like, you know, we're never going to say like, well, you don't know whiskey. We don't want to talk to you. No. And there, I mean, believe me, there are podcasts out there that are like that, but we, you know, we, we just want to find information and hang out with people. And, and that's, that's again part of the the journey and, and part of just what what we like to do. Yeah, it's, it's been like, a lot of fun. Brings back we go to my uh my I'm not gonna say childhood, but it brings me back to like when I was younger and all that. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, all the, like the drinking stories, or as my friends call it, the drunken war stories. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, how did I get that scar? Where did this blood yeah, come from? Exactly. You know, it's like it's like oh, my leg didn't turn that way. You know. Geez. <laughs> you know. And it's like, why do I got five guys? No, anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. And next thing you know, you're just like, okay, I, I got to take some aspirin and find the story out. Here's here's where we are. And how did we get here? <laughs> yeah. which, which is like, well, there is a story, but I'm going to tell that another time. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, we're on the back burner of this whole thing. So sure, sure. Uh, it would be like something more to go and talk about. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So the next one would be like, uh, you know, after drinking, the hangover remem- uh, memory. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because <laughs> let's, let's put this in, the, in, your, in your brains for a minute. Like, 
before. I'm not going to try to start it, but try going to a uh, bachelor party. And then the night after, you go to the bar that you're going to, and you're getting sour faces like, okay, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> you know? And then you had to get set down. Let's just leave it at that. And then I, okay. I'll tell you the whole oh, oh, man. next time. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that story. I'm yeah, looking forward to that one. <laughs> it, it, it's, you know, it's an experience. Let's put it that way. <laughs> That's why I never gone to bachelor parties. So I had my own of that since that. <laughs> but, um, you know, it teaches you a lot of things. But anyway, now everybody's gonna be like, "Hmm, there's something happening with this guy and t- tattoo squid." Okay, <laughs> right? A little teaser. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for you know doing this uh Zoom and um, you know yeah, absolutely uh, podcast and you know great meeting you guys. You know now I now I can place the name with the faces. You know because when you're right. here. <laughs> You know, I got you guys mixed up in the beginning. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I got them all mixed up. Maybe that's what we should do. I'm I'm Nick, the bearded one. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, I'm, like, hey, I'm, I'm like, hi, I have some of a bald head. <laughs> you know? But uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm like, thanks guys for doing this with me. And absolutely, thank you for having us on. It's been a lot of fun. And absolutely, I'm try to, you know. Uh, well, let's stop it here, and I'll talk to you guys afterwards, after okay. the whole thing is done, and then uh, and then we'll go from there. Cool. All right. That's Tattoo Squid Podcast. Follow these guys. Go to Twitter. Uh, you know, take it away. You know, give it your, uh, your thing. Yeah, you know, plug yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can find us on uh, social media. Hey, it's always one word, Drep and Stone, D-R-E-P and Stone. Find us, like us. Hey, we'll like you right back. Right back. <laughs> and you can go and buy a coffee or buy a pint. Buy a pint. Yeah, that's uh that's buymeacoffee.com slash drip and stone. And um, you know, Dre's Dre's bought us a, a coffee, bought us a pint, and uh we absolutely appreciate the support. It just helps keep the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, I'm, trying, I'm still looking around for like, you know, like the you know, see how the mine goes, but but mine is a uh, you know Tattoo Squid podcast you know for to buy me a coffee as well. Oh, awesome! Uh, follow me everywhere. Follow these guys pretty much everywhere as it is. You know, um, guys, listen. You know, awesome stuff. You know, listening to different connoisseur, <laughs> you know, uh, whiskey and everything else, and you know, cans of you know beer and all that. So, uh, especially pickled beer. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that on Harry Potter, but um, <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. All right, that will be it for Tattoo Script Podcast. Thank you guys, and you know, see you on the flip side. <laughs>